The Barricade Rectangular Textured Black Adventure Mirror is for those of you that have a 2007 to 2018 JK or new JL that is looking for a mirror to pop on your Jeep when you take the doors off to keep you both legal and safe. These are gonna be a very easy one out of three wrench installation and we'll talk a little bit more about that in just a second. Now, when you're looking for a trail style mirror or a mirror that's designed to go on your Jeep when the doors are off, you're really going to find three different choices. One is going to be a mirror bracket that permanently moves the factory mirror from the door onto the A-pillar of the Jeep. That makes it so that when you take the doors on and off, you don't have a second step of installing and uninstalling your mirror. It's already done for you. The only downside to that option is that the passenger side mirror can be a little bit difficult to see, but a lot of the manufacturers of those brackets have made them adjustable on the passenger side to combat that issue. The second option that you'll find is a quick release mirror. So that mirror is going to have its own bracket on the A-pillar. The bracket stays there all the time, but you pop the mirror on and off when you need it. So you'll remove your door, put your mirror on, take your mirror off, put your door back on again. This option is going to be similar to that. However, you don't have a bracket that lives on the A-pillar. These just drop right into that top door hinge when the door is removed. Again, take the door off, put the mirror on, the mirror off to put the door back on. So it's a two-step process. As long as you're okay doing those two steps, this is a very clean way to go about having a mirror when the doors are off. You still have your factory mirror in the factory location. You have your heat and your power if you have those options. Everything stays factory when the doors are on. When the doors are off, you have a very useful mirror as long as you're okay with that second step. Take the door off, put the mirror on, take the mirror off, put the door back on again. These are also going to be less expensive than some of the other choices out there. Now these are a whole mirror, so these are gonna be a little bit more expensive than the brackets that are just designed to move your factory mirrors, because those are just a bracket, this is a whole mirror, but these are gonna be less expensive than some of those quick release mirrors because they don't have all of the bracket pieces that actually attach onto the Jeep. So these are gonna fall somewhere in the middle price-wise. And again, as long as you're okay with that additional step every time you take the doors off of reinstalling the mirrors, these are gonna be a really nice choice. As for construction, these things are very, very simple. You're going to have a plastic housing, a plastic mirror. Uh, it does have a little bit of a ball joint on the back side of it so that you can adjust that mirror so you get maximum viewing out of it. Uh, this is really just a bent piece of round bar that's threaded on the one side so it drops right into that hinge. They do give you a, uh, a nut that goes on the other side of that. Otherwise, as you're driving down the road, those would just swing and collapse in for you. So you put the nut on there, you tighten it down to keep these things from moving around. Overall, they're gonna be pretty high quality. They're gonna work for you. They're gonna be very easy to see and they're gonna be very large. So you're gonna get great viewing out toward the back of the Jeep. A pair of these mirrors are going to run you around $50, which I don't think is going to be a very bad price for what you're getting. This is something that's pretty high quality. It's very, very useful. And $50 is right where I would expect the price to be. First thing we're gonna do is remove our doors. If you're working on a 2018 JL like we are today, you wanna to reach into your glove box and grab the provided toolkit that Jeep provides you. We need a T50 Torx, and Jeep labels the hinges for you so you know which tool to use. All right, we're gonna open up our toolkit here, grab the ratchet and the T50 Torx bit. All right, so we're gonna use the Jeep tool to take out the two Torx bolts right here and right here. And if you guys wanna be super careful, you can put a piece of painter's tape behind here so you don't scratch your paint. Next thing we're gonna do is open up the door and move on to the inside of the hinge here. Jeep also recommends that you put your window down before you pull the door off of the Jeep to lessen the chance of the window breaking when it's sitting on the ground or in your garage. Next thing we're gonna do is go back into our Jeep toolkit and grab the T40 extended bit. And we need to remove the T40 bolt here that holds the door stopper in place. All right, next thing we're gonna do inside the Jeep is we need to go inside this kick panel here to unplug the door harness. So what we're gonna do is grab the kick panel and pull straight out to release it. We need to unplug this plug. So we're gonna to go to the red tab right here and push it up. Next, we're gonna remove the nylon safety strap.
Then we're gonna tuck the harness right here into the pouch in the door. One last thing before we pull the door off, we're gonna push our mirror in here. And now we can lift the door off. First thing we're gonna do is grab the supplied L bracket and hardware and drop it into the upper door hinge right here. All right, we got the supplied lock washer and the 15 millimeter nut, and we're going to bolt this in place. Get yourself a 15 millimeter socket on a ratchet and tighten this up. Next, grab the adventure mirror and take the bolt out of the back of the mirror. And we're now gonna bolt our mirror to our L bracket. Grab a 14 millimeter socket and tighten this bolt up. Don't forget to sit in the Jeep and adjust the mirror to your liking. That's gonna wrap up our review and install of the Barricade Adventure mirrors. Be sure to check out more at extremeterrain.com.